Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of Chow with Lao and today I'm going to show you how to cook a dish that needs no introduction which is why I'm giving it an introduction. Anyway, classic Chinese restaurant dish, beef and mushrooms. Let's do this. Right guys, so first of all get your wok hot and we want about two tablespoons of oil in here and we're going to get our aromatics in onions ginger skew singers garlic again skew singers get that going be careful not to burn the garlic but the onion should help dissipate some of that heat just get that softened up the aromatics will go into the oil, which when we put the beef in, will make it even tasty. I've got half a white onion in here. I've got a clove of chopped garlic and a thumb size, a small thumb size, peeled and chopped piece of ginger. Okay, right, so we're just starting to get a little tiny bit of color in there. So what I'm going to do is push aside that, add a little bit more oil in, okay? Then I'm going to pop our beef in. I've got 300 grams of velveted beef. If you want to know how to velvet beef, I've got a video that I'll put up here for you to have a look at. It really makes it, if you don't know what velvet means, it means make tender, okay? It's a Chinese method of making beef tender. It doesn't doesn't mean pounding it into thin pieces, it's done by magic, well not magic, with ingredients, okay? Also, with this beef, I've already marinated it in a half a tablespoon of sesame oil, one tablespoon of light soy sauce, one teaspoon of sugar. Classic Chinese marinade, gives it plenty of flavor. Right, so we're gonna put the beef in. And all these flavors will turn something that sounds quite bland, I mean beef and mushroom, sounds a bit bland, into something absolutely delicious. Okay, so we're gonna sear our beef here, spread it out so that everything has a contact patch with the heat, and then leave it. Obviously the onions and the garlic and the ginger have been pushed to one side, they're not getting the full brunt of the heat. Leave it for a good 30 seconds, maybe a minute, so it sears and starts to caramelize, sealing in the texture, sealing in the flavor. Okay, now we can turn it over. Look at that. The color is amazing. And we get the color on the other side now. Okay. Beautiful. Once we've got this other side seared up, then we can start to do the proper sort of stir frying. So now we're going to follow up and start to move everything together. Look at that. Doesn't that look amazing? Right, I'm going to add is about five or six decent sized mushrooms in there. Chopped up quite chunkily. I'm using white mushrooms. You can use whatever mushrooms you like. Just make sure they're not so delicate because if they do, they'll break up in the cooking. You know, stir frying is quite a robust technique of cooking. So we don't really want to, uh, we don't want to break them up. We don't want a fine mushroom that just disintegrates in the sauce. We want something chunky. I like um, chestnut mushrooms are nice. You can try Chinese mushrooms if you like, the, uh, or the Japanese, the dry Japanese mushrooms. They give a little bit more of a flavor. I find the white mushrooms are great because they absorb the flavor. It's kind of what I want. We keep this moving. To this, we can add a good squirt of salt. Not too much because we've got quite a lot of flavor in there already and we're gonna add a little bit more soy sauce in a little bit. And don't forget the marinade of the beef has already got quite a bit of flavor in it already so just go lightly so now i'm going to add 
about a tablespoon of light soy sauce and a little water, I've preheated this water so it doesn't take the heat away from the wok too much. Okay, so about that much, I find. Now we don't want it completely drowned in sauce, we want to have some body to this. Okay, I'm gonna add my special ingredient, about a, 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 a teaspoon of sugar, which gives it a nice flavor. You could also add some sesame oil if you wanted to. I've got sesame oil in the marinade of the beef, so I'm not going to, not this time. The finishing touch, I have some, I have some cornflour slurry here, about a tablespoon of cornflour in cold water and give it a stir. We don't have to probably use all of it, but we'll just gauge it. Just pour a little bit at a time. Make sure the sauce is boiling and add it slowly. Give it a stir and it'll thicken up nicely. Touch more, I think that'll do it. Bring that to the bowl and we're done. Minutes guys, minutes. This is so quick. Chinese cooking is always quick. Well, nearly always quick. <laughs> Stir frying always is. Look at that. Beef and mushroom guys. Get your taste buds ready. Moment of truth time. Let's see what we got. Mmm, the beef is so tender because that velvet tin technique and the flavours from the marinade, just beautiful. Mushrooms picking up the flavour of the sauce. I didn't even feel the need to use a stock because the beef has got so much flavour in it and obviously we've added the garlic and the ginger. It's all coming through. And the onions have still got some bite in them, which is really nice. We don't want it to go soggy. It just has to still have a little bit of crispness, a little bit of crunch. Beautiful. Tiny bit of sweetness coming in through that sugar, but not a lot. It just gives it a nice little undertone of flavour to go against the savouriness of everything else. Guys, beef and mushrooms. I guess it sounds a bit boring, but I swear it isn't. It's just fantastic. It's got lots of flavour and it's just so satisfying and Moorish. I could eat a lot of this and it's just really, really nice. So go ahead, treat yourself, make this. You don't even have to use an expensive cut of beef. It can be, I think this is Silverside, um, which is one of the cheaper, tougher ones. But if you velvet it, it's tender, really, really tender. You might think you're eating veal or something. I don't know, I've never had veal, but there you go. <laughs> right guys. Thank you so much again for watching. Really appreciate your support. Give us a like and a cheeky subscribe if you feel like it. Really appreciate it, really helps the channel. Anyway, I shall see you again with a new video very soon. So take care and I'll see you then.